what intrigues me here is at the time, because mm-hmm. I remember, because I'm that old, mm-hmm. there was someone at the University of Maryland, Joe Weber, who was building a gravitational wave detector. And it was a cylinder of aluminum with very high, highly sensitive servos, if that's the word, that monitored the position of this slab of aluminum. And if a gravitational wave washed over it, it would jiggle it in such a way that he would then measure it by way of these servos. So this method conjured in the wee hours of the morning in a hotel room is a completely different method. Correct. And maybe there's no way you could have detected it with a slab, a cylindrical slab of aluminum. I think now in hindsight, we can say that would have been quite, I mean, we haven't done that yet, yes, right? Okay. So, but so it is true that Joe Weber at the University of Maryland had this big slab of metal and it was instrumented with, with sensors that would see this big slab of metal ringing, just like if you, if you hit a wine glass and it sort of rings a tone. So it would ring at when, because of the gravitational wave that went through it. Now, it, it turned out that, that Weber's claim, people, so when Weber made the claim, a lot of people started to build similar instruments and to try to, to reproduce the measurements, and they couldn't. And eventually, it, it, people just didn't believe it. If I remember correctly, he had a paper saying he had a measurement. 